Hi, today I will talk about how to equivalent your medical diploma in Turkey. To be a little more precise, I will cover first two steps. Submitting documents to the Council of Higher Education of Turkey, also known as YOC, and creating a SIM personal account. So, what documents will we need? First, your medical diploma with its appendix. Second, notarized translation of diploma with its appendix into Turkish. Probably the easiest way is to do it in Turkey itself. Translation usually takes no more than a few hours, plus translation agencies often neighbor with notaries, offering a combined set of services. There is another way though. You could also visit Turkish consulate in your country and ask them for a list of trusted translators. Then you translate your papers there and go back to consulate to certify translation. If you have decided to go down this route, I advise you to call YOC beforehand to make sure they will accept such translation. Next, you will need your ID and fee receipt. In the beginning of 2023, fee was 150 lira. You can pay it at any branch of Zero Art Bank. When paying, make sure that your data, such as name or ID number, is entered correctly, otherwise receipt may turn invalid. Payment details can be found on the YOX website. Finally, you will have to submit signed consent to processing of personal data and the application Bashvuru Dilekchasi. More elaborate on those in the following slides. Now you can see the consent form for data processing, which can be downloaded from the YOC website. The only place where you may have difficulties filling is the Urenji Numarasa line. During my submission, I entered my medical diploma number here, but judging by the fact that many of my acquaintances left this line completely empty, it doesn't really matter. On this slide, you can see the Bashvuru Dilekchasi, an application that is automatically generated for you after registering online for a rendezvous at YOC. Now let's talk about documents outside the main package. Firstly, documents that were previously required but usually are not requested anymore. Those include a high school diploma, a postal and a paper from Turkish clinic confirming that they need you as a doctor. Let me remind you that YOC politics vary from country to country and some of those documents may still be required in your particular case. Now additional documents that are usually requested. Certificate of transfer to another university if that took place. Information about the ratio of online and offline education during the pandemic. And documents reflecting clinical practice after graduation. Information about online and offline education during the COVID is usually requested from those who graduated in the period from 2020 to 2023. Right now you can see an example of such certificate and since it's on Russian, let me outline it. Basically, it states the name of graduate, a year of his graduation, his medical faculty and says that he received 100% of his training in a traditional or offline format. On this slide you can see Yok's request for documents reflecting clinical practice after graduation, as well as our colleague's answer to the question of what exactly she had to provide to the Council of Higher Education. She says she had submitted her employment history and translated copy of her medical residency diploma. Now about online registration for rendezvous at the Council of Higher Education. Go to denclick.yok.gov.tr. There are a few windows that will interest us. Firstly, Razabeyana. Consent template for processing of personal data, which you will have to download, fill out and print. Second, YOC's requisites, highlighted in blue. Third, online Bashvuru line, highlighted in yellow, through which you can register for aforementioned rendezvous at YOC. It should be noted that YOC generally does not allow rendezvous without prior registration, although there were cases when, due to technical reasons, someone could not make an online application. 
and York would eventually let them in without it. Moreover, there are no need for registration if you are there to bring extra requested documents. Finally, there is Yabancı Uyruluklular Ön Lisans ve Lisans Başvuruları window, where you can see for yourself an official list of required documents. After clicking online başvuru, you will be directed to this page. Unless you've got yourself Kimlik or residence permit, here you choose second option and then fill out the questionnaire. There is nothing really difficult about it and if you are having hard time understanding what exactly they want from you in particular paragraph, use the translation function built into most internet browsers. If this still doesn't help, ask more experienced colleagues for an advice. I will leave some useful links in the description, make sure to check it out. Now let us briefly describe the path of your documents after submitting them to Yok. The Council of Higher Education sends a request to Turkish consulate in your country. There it will be translated into your language and then redirected to your university. University writes an answer and then it's all the same steps but in reverse. Yok then evaluates your education program and either asks for additional documents or makes a formal decision about your internship length. Now let's talk a little on how to track the status of your documents. There are two main ways for that. First is Yedevlet, sort of electronic public services for Turkish citizens and residents, through which you will be able to check status of your documents by entering a code received from Yok itself. If you have no access to Yedevlet, then you will have to call Yok directly. While calling, you will run into a bot, but worry not. Soon enough it will talk itself out and then you will be connected with human operator. You can now see Yok's contact number that is relevant at the time of this video's release. Learning what extra documents are requested can also be done in two ways. By a literal letter that Yok sends to the address pointed in your application or again via Yedevlet. For second, call Yok again and ask them for special codes and then enter those codes in Yedavlet to receive a list of required documents. It is also worth mentioning that you can do this through any Yedavlet account, not necessarily yours. Next, Ölçme, Seçme ve Yerleştirme Merkezi. In short, OSIM is the institution that organizes, conducts and processes the results of your upcoming exams. In order to register for exam, you will need a profile in the OSIM electronic system. Again, there are two main ways here. To visit nearest OSIM branch where they will open your personal account with temporary password and give you this kind of paper. And remotely, instructions on how to do it is now on your screens. That's about it. In future videos we will talk more about the exam itself. Stay tuned and see you around!